This is a radio station of the SDC Radio Networks. The music of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thanks for listening. This is KDTN Radio One. Lock it on to the best station on the net around the planet on the World Wide Web. Ew. In the mix. This is your boy Kenny Smith, and it's Smith Bits Rant and Rave Radio. Well, today is February yeah, no, it's February the seventh, twenty seventeen. Anyway, as you can tell, our president has got us on a roller coaster, following him around. Today is like, whew, what we gonna do today, Mr. President? Distraction, chaos, deception. Nothing gets old, does it? Well, he changes course every day. So, we got our 78 hit lists, 78 places, I guess, that has uh, had some kind of destruction or ISIS control bombing or whatever. Now, these places that we're looking at, they've already visited. Maybe there's several in here I've really never heard about. But God, the spelling was horrible. Hmm? You know, that reminds me of a guy whose house is burning down. And uh, this is letting him know that, hey man, there's some arsonists in the neighborhood burning down people's houses. So anyway, people got the note. And the only thing they could say was, oh gee, the words are misspelled, you know. But then they forgot to take in consideration that the house is burning down. So, you know, is it was it the message or the messenger, right? So anyway, so Mr. Trump is doing the things that we love for him to do. Misdirection. You know, the old magician's trick. One other thing, too, is I want to give a shout-out to Mr. Malcolm Mitchell of the New England Patriots. Great game, you guys. I was not necessarily crazy that the uh, Patriots was going to win or anything but I was really rooting for Mr. Mitchell so you gotta root for the whole team cause I mean the guy's an Arthur and he does great things and I've been following him around for a little bit and I was really impressed and for anybody to win a Super Bowl this is the guy Mr. Mitchell you're going places big big places and like you said, football is not the end all be all. You got other things to do. And I am so proud of you. I've been following your stories on CBS News and and the blogs and everywhere, you know, Twitter. And I tell you what, my heart just goes out to you. You're a fantastic young man. So anyway, what I'm ranting about today, not too much. But I got one song in the in the file that came in a couple days ago and the young lady's name is Savannah Vilroth and it's called Love Remains you gotta check this out and uh, this is courtesy of KDTN Radio 1 check this out I love it so
will stay. Others will go. Now I water the seeds they've sown. Light a first sky. Hold the far moon. Guide us home even when we're alone. When they change hearts, some people stay. Others will go. This is a radio station of the SDC Radio Networks. The music of yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thanks for listening. This is KDTN Radio. Work. Lock it on to the best station on the net around the planet on the World Wide Web. In, in the mix. This is something from 2015. Our top one. Song. I should say the song is actually number one. We had two number one songs. It was doing that lawsuit time that we got sued with Spotify and everybody. So I couldn't play. Well, I did play, but we couldn't play. Our our list was basically knocked out. But this was the last song played on the playlist, and it was number six, which became the number one song on the list. And this is Merle Fankhouse's Since I Don't Have You, okay? And this is basically the number one song from SDC Digital Radio from 2015. But hey, I'm happy to be here, though. 
I ain't gonna complain about it. I enjoy the King's winches, the King's beef, and I love the music. All right, so hey, I ain't got nothing to complain about, and I'm just happy that I'm here and that you're here with me to listen to. Anyway, a little short period of time. Ah, you know, we're talking about President Trump. Boy, you know, the roller coaster of love. He runs around, I mean, he got everybody by the <laughs> by the ring in the nose, I guess, and just drag us around wherever he wants. But I am going to do what President George W. said. Stay the course. Or was that Ronnie Reagan? Ronnie Reagan, stay the course. Don't get pulled off. It's just like a basketball game. Remember those days in basketball when the coach said, you know, don't watch the guy's eyes and stuff. They be faking you out. You got to watch the guy's belly button. Remember? You keep your eye on the belly button. If he goes up and down and do all kind of gyrations and whatnot, he's not going to go nowhere. Only his belly button going to stay in the same spot. Steer the course. So Mr. Trump has got us bouncing around. He got the media bouncing around like he owns it. And boy, he's really giving him the blues. And I guess they're not really settling on it. They're steering the course. And this course is stay where you at and continue doing the job that you're doing. I don't know what he wants, Mr. Trump, that is. You know, I, you know, it's confusion. You know, I don't know. And eventually it's all getting old. All of this is getting old real quick. You know, I, they got the dump Trump movement. They've got impeach Trump. You know, we've got a real crazy person with a, and I don't know if he's crazy or not, but I, he's making me crazy. And that's why I got my Smith Bitch Rant and Rave Radio. Because this is a little bit that I can do for everybody. Is just keep my voice out there and keep a little music out there too. Because it's satirical after a while, right? So anyway, today they're going to vote on Betty DeVos. Or that Betsy DeVos. The billionaire lady who knows nothing about schools. And she's going to shake it up, right? Whew. Shake it up, baby. You know, it's too bad she's not Betsy Ross. She could at least create a flag or something. But, well, flag of surrender. Yeah, she's going to sell the public school system right down the toilet. Having been married to at least two school teachers in my lifetime, this is not a good sign for them or for me. Because, I mean, I, I used to grade papers for my wives. It was incredible at the time, and I saved a lot of kids. Because, boy, they don't know how close they came to getting F's and getting flunked out of school. And I am one of the ones who begged my wives, please don't flunk this child. I saved their bacon. But nobody will remember that. And nobody will even care. Because it's been years and years ago. But anyway, this is Kenny Smith. And I really enjoy it. And I really want to thank you for being here. So until next time, see ya.